Hey everybody, happy Friday. My name is Garrett Hartle. Welcome back to Reach Out Reptiles. You know, today I was moving some of these two-year-old female super dwarfs into the FB40 racks that I have. And uh, you know, the thing I don't like about racks, as easy as they are to clean and maintain, is that you just can't get the, the perches and the hides that I really like with a semi-arboreal animal like a super dwarf free tick. But I think I have a life hack idea for you here that I'm going to try out, which will combine a, a hide, a perch, and a water dish holder, all for a couple of bucks. Let me show you what I need. Okay, so the idea is that these tubs are awesome in terms of their size and everything for a growing super dwarf. They have a ton of length. They look smaller than they are. These are actually almost three feet long. So for a little girl like this, it's just the perfect size. But kind of boring when you don't have anything to do in there and you're a very active, very curious super dwarf. So what I'm thinking is if we can get her something that she can perch up and watch her environment that's something that they always love as well as something to retreat underneath to a dark area that they can hide I have these semi clear tubs with the flat bottoms um, so they get the the day nighttime balance but they still I think need a dark place to go hide behind and then the other thing is I want a water dish holder and you're probably thinking well Garrett Freedom Breeder makes built-in water dish holders why didn't you just get those it's because I like to use the paper substrate. So here's my idea. I want to take a cheap bucket like this from Home Depot. They're just over $3. And I figure if I cut it in half, or more or less in half, then I will have a semi-circle hide with a back on it, which will actually be my front. Okay, so underneath the hide, I want to actually cut a hole in the top to drop my deli cup in as a holder so that it f serves two purposes. Now, obviously, it took me a little while to choose my depth, but I'm going to actually go with the exact same depth that the cup is for this first try, and we'll see how that works.
Well, hey guys, I hope that that helped just kind of get the wheels turning in your head about different ways that you can do the small things that'll make a big difference in the quality of life for your animals. Do me a favor, my question of the day is comment below if you've ever discovered a cool reptile life hack in your experience working with these animals. And while you guys type that out, I'm just going to wish you guys a great weekend. Take care, and we'll catch you next time.